for number two on this document here, the goal is down here. So notice that in order to achieve this goal, you have to first know the value of little q. Little q is the number right there. You see that? That's little q. Let me show you probably the fastest way for you to discover what little q is so that you can actually begin the goal. So notice they say that f divided by g equals h. Just watch. You know that this number divided by this number equals this number. But from here, what I want you to see is that when you have like this over this equals that, that means that this times this equals that there. So when they say that F divided by G equals H, that means that G times H is equal to F, right? That's exactly what that means. So if you were to go, if you were to go this red times this blue, you get this whole original purple. That's what that means. So how about I take G times H, but they're out of order. Let me write G in order by power, powers, and then H in order by powers. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I put them in standard form. This first one is G and this one is H. So if you were to sit there and do distributive property for like 10 minutes, right? If you did all of this there, if you did all of that distributive property, 10 minutes later, okay? A long time later, you would get all of the original F. You would, but don't do all that. Just, just watch the, the shortcut here. If I go light blue, if I go this here times that there, that would be Q times six, which is six Q. That would be X five times X four, which is X nine. And then if I were to continue to distribute, I'd get a bunch of other pieces, but compare this with that. Notice that here in F, the strongest power you see is 9. 12x9 is the strongest power. And that 12x9 is created exclusively by this piece times this piece. Because x5 times x4 is x9. So q times 6 has to be 12. So 6 times what gives you 12? By that logic, we've just discovered that Q is 2. Furthermore, don't, the video doesn't end there. Furthermore, note that this has to be 2, Q, because if I were to go green here, that one, if I take this one and multiply it with anyone there, anyone, none of them will give you X9 because the strongest here is X4. If I take X4, the strongest here is X4. That would be X8. So no other combination of, of terms that you can multiply gives you X9. The only way to get X9 is from X5, X4, which is why six times Q is 12, which makes little Q two. So that's just the shortcut for finding a missing coefficient, in this case, Q. From there, the goal was something else, but I just wanted you to see how you can quickly find a missing coefficient in a situation like this.